our postcard today is from a sentimental journey because that's what we're on at the Museum of Advertising and Packaging in Gloucester. Now, as you know, my postcard series is all about Britain's history and heritage, but it's not just about places, but it's also about products too. Because one of the fascinating things is that over the years, packaging changes on all kinds of merchandise and foods and tins and bottles. And I've noticed just recently there's a kind of going back, it's conservation, there's sort of comfort and familiarity, those things we used to know when we were kids or brought up, in my case, as much by my grandmothers as by my mum and dad. And we've come here to the Robert Opie collection, it's a museum of advertising and packaging in the city of Gloucester. And the first thing that's caught my eye is this old fridge. Just look at it. Now, I remember my nan had one of these, and it was the pride of Torrington Road, and it was kept in her old conservatory. And, of course, in, in the days when she had this, and it's even good old imperial money, look, 53 pounds, seven shillings and no pennies. And when she had this, it used to have a life of its own towards the end of its days in that old conservatory, but it lasted forever and there are all kind of good things in there. My nan used to do pressed tongue where she would board an ox tongue and then put it in there with a great big weight on top of it and hey pressed the next morning there was all the jelly around it and the finest ox tongue that you could possibly ever wish to taste and thanks to this it meant my grandmother and many other housewives and families all over this kingdom could keep things cold and keep things fresh. And then just moving around here, now you can hear my throat's a bit rough, can't you? <laughs> Good old zoobs, those little black things there, breathing comfort. When I was a kid in Harefield in Middlesex, when we had a bad throat, you either had fishermen's friends, which were made up in Lancashire at Fleetwood, or zoobs, don't know where they were made, but I always used to think that they were Spanish because of the name. Don't ask me why, a kid's mind. And they're there. Chocolates galore. Uh, chocolate drops. You can't get these chocolate drops like you used to, you know. Come and have a look at these. They're great big sort of really dark brown things. And you get them already packaged now. But you used to be able to get those, you know, in great big bags full. Probably there to keep me going for a couple of me old soaps on the telly. And all kinds of things. Look at this, for instance. Furniture polish. Now, my other grandmother, that was Lily with the fridge. Alice used to clean houses. Lots of people of her age. And she was a cleaner from the age of 14. And even towards the end, she used to clean for American houses in Ickenham, in Middlesex. Uh, the, the Air Force Base at West Rice it had lots of people there from the States and she used to be a cleaner for the servicemen and that's what she used to use. And the more you walk round here, the more you go back to nostalgia because in this day and age, it's all about going back to those things that meant so much. And the more you wander around here, the more you can see all kinds of our great British past because what Robert Opie has done, through his enthusiasm, his passion for one subject, he has spent the last 25 years collecting over 300,000, that's right, watch my lips, 300,000 items, which really is as much a part of British history as the cathedral is of Gloucester.